Hello everyone, um, just a quick video this morning. Um, basically just uh, just heading into work, heard on the news that they're gonna stop the people from using credit cards uh, in bookmakers. So you'll no longer be able to put credit on a Fobti um, using your, your credit card, um, which is, is great news, I think. I think that, um, you know, let's face it, as gamblers, we're, we're very happy to, to lose, you know, all the money we have. Um, and what we don't want to do really is lose money that we don't have and uh, yeah exactly that's, that's exactly what gambling on credit cards does to you um, as well another point which may, some people may not be actually aware of is that if you if you deposit on a Fobti using your credit card um, in a lot of instances it will uh, actually count as a cash withdrawal uh, and anyone knows that you know you use a cash withdrawal on a, a credit card um, it's it's a much higher sort of rate of interest. Sometimes there's even fees associated with it. So, aside from actually losing money that you, you don't have to lose, um, you might find you're actually then paying more and more on top um, for the privilege. So, this is great news. As far as I can tell, it's going to come in around April, um, which actually, you know, considering how slow um, you know the government are at implementing new legislation, um, you know, normally. Although actually I don't know whether this is government legislation or, or sort of um, the, the, the gambling authority. But, you know, considering how long it normally takes these, these new legislations, these new rules to come in, um, is, is brilliant. You know, it's a couple of months away. And I think actually that's going to do, do an awful lot of good for an awful lot of people who are chasing Fobti losses on, on credit cards. Um, I know that I have been one of those people. Uh, I think also it could be another nail in the coffin for the bookies, really. You know, since we saw the the two pound stake introduced last year, you know the number of bookmakers I've seen that have closed down, um, you know, from the high street has has you know increased massively. You know, there's now loads and loads of empty bookmakers in in the town I live. Um, you know, and of course a little bit of my sympathy goes towards those who you know work in the industry, um, those who are you know the frontline staff, the, the counter staff, and all the rest of it who have lost their jobs. But I think ultimately, as a society, it's it's going to be beneficial. Um, to get rid of these these bookmakers, the yeah the downside of this of course is it only applies to bookmakers. Um, I think this this legislation this ruling would you know be much more powerful, much more effective, and, and much more beneficial to a greater number of people um, if it were extended out across online casinos because you can still use your credit card at online casinos. So if you if you think that's something that's causing you a problem, then what I would suggest is use something like uh, GamStop, um, which blocks you from all UK licensed online casinos, um, and the number it's actually blocking you from is increasing all the time. Uh, there are other methods you can take. Use a single bank account. Um, I use Monzo, I've mentioned in a couple of videos, uh, and you can't actually use your, your card for any gambling transactions. And, and how that works is each, um, basically each vendor uh, each merchant has their own unique identifier, which are our catalogues. Um, and so, if it's a gambling business, then you know, and you try and use your credit card, it will just decline. Uh, sorry, just use your, your bank card, it will decline. Um, this is how, if you use Monzo already or a similar bank, um, it automatically categorises your spending. You might notice that if you go and fill your car up with petrol, it will come up on your your online app, and it will come up with a little picture of a petrol pump or something. That's how it categorises that. Um, so if you basically if it detects anything that's uh, in the gambling category, it will, it will deny the transaction. So that's one way you can do it. Like I say, GamStop is great. And as I mentioned in my previous video, if you've got you know, a, a fair amount of spare time um, and online gambling is causing you a problem, then sign up. Do this when you're sober in clear mind. Sign up to as many online casinos as you can and immediately self-exclude for the longest possible time. Uh, and again, this is another another avenue. What you'll find as well when you do this, um, and I know this from <clears throat> when I was in my, my last state of gambling, and I was self-excluded from a lot of places. But I was I was desperately hunting around trying to find somewhere new to gamble. Um, you know that a lot of casinos are actually part of the same group of casinos. So you burn yourself from one, and then when you're you know you're desperate for a gamble, you've got that urge. You try and sign up for another one, and it tells you that you're already self-excluded. So if you go you know, go through, I, I, I'm mercenary about it, go through one of the affiliates, go to one of the, to the big affiliates that lists loads and loads of casinos, and just sign up to all their casinos, and then immediately self-exclude. 
you know, or go to one of these casino comparison pages, go to Casino Meister, something like that. You know, click on all the casinos you can find, sign up for them all, and then immediately self exclude for the longest possible period. And that, is, again, is just one more block in place. So hopefully, like I say, hopefully this credit card legislation they're rolling out to, to bookmakers um, will, will soon extend to uh, online casinos as well, because I think that will be highly, highly beneficial for a large number of people. But, you know, for the time being, what do you reckon? It's a step in the right direction, isn't it? You know, and like I say, it's, it's one more nail in the coffin for fob tees. And, you know, like I say, while I have a little bit of sympathy for the staff, that really can't be a bad thing because fob tees really are, you know, to, to, to use a cliche, they really are the crack cocaine of gambling. You know, they're so accessible. Uh, the, the losses are potentially so huge. And even with a two pound stake, um, you know, the bookies have found ways around that and you can still lose exceptional amounts of money in a very short period of time. Um, so now we can't lose money off our credit cards, we can't lose money that isn't our own. That's got to be a step in the right direction, hasn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe if you like it, like the video, put the notifications on, do all that good stuff, and I will catch you on the next one. Um, don't worry about that, uh, that debt series, that is coming. I'm going to try and film that one properly, so that'll take a little bit longer, but um, hopefully it'll be worth the wait. Like I say, pop the notifications on and uh, Obviously, YouTube will, will kindly let you know when they're out um, and obviously any other videos I release. But thanks for watching again. Have a great day. Try and keep gamble free, whatever you do. And uh, yeah, see you guys soon in a bit.